the sands of time ravage all. Mortals, monuments, even civilizations cannot stand against it. Their remnants lost beneath the dunes, awaiting discovery by the brave. Like time itself, the living are not welcome in Nehekara. For this is the land of the dead, ruled by the tomb kings, where only the expired may serve. In his black tower, the Lich King broods. A stalemate between him and Setra has existed for centuries. While Arkan awaits his real master's call, eternity was promised, but the Tomb Kings awoke to unlife, no longer beatific sovereigns, their kingdoms as decayed as their bodies. The glory of Kemri lost, forgotten. Black Pyramid stirs, but does not wake. A vessel of untold power awaiting a new master, but it remains sealed. The Lich Priests are tasked with finding access. They venture deep into the catacombs, seeking clues. Discovering an obelisk inscribed with hieroglyphs as old as the desert gods. The answer lies in the nine books of Nagash, the original tomes of undead lore, authored by the arch necromancer. Due to the turbulence of the Vortex, not nine, but only five books and his master's staff are needed. Then the pyramid shall open. Time has seen the books lost, scattered. Other tomb kings will seek them, for all desire the Black Pyramid. Begin the search. Raise your warriors. The legions of Khemri march to war. Hello, my minions. We begin the search for the books of Nagash along the coast of the Southlands. We are but a pawn of Arkan the Black. Parched as my but that is only a temporary setback, for in time we shall escape the bindings of Nagash, of Arkan, and establish our own army and once we have done that, we may very well defeat Arkan himself, take the books of Nagash for our own, and maybe even break the curse. But first, we must fight the Bretonians. 
And for that, we will need Arkan and his aid. And so here we are at the first battle with these battalions. Let us move ahead and show them just what we are capable of. Yes. Go forth, dark minions. And let us show these Bretonians the folly of their mortal ways. This Bretonian lord flees, a weak fool. They think to send peasants against us. How pitiful.
and the Bretonians flee. Ah, uh, another battle. This one will see the end of this group of Bretonians. Of this group of the flame. While I still serve Arkin, he does have purpose. His mastery of the lore of death is very useful when dealing with enemies, particularly lords. The bats may fall apart, but they serve their purpose. They are merely a distraction.
noch eine Heckela. Well, would you look at this? They are attempting to reform their army. <laughs> How exhilarating. And they flee. Get away. So ends this errantry from Bertonia. But there are others to deal with. So it appears that the beastmen of this area have felt it necessary to raid our lands. Well, like all raiders, they will meet the same fate and be utterly destroyed. It truly is a glorious sight, seeing the Tomb Scorpion in action. <laughs> oh, my pet. Do what you can to those poor beasts. Obey me! 
I could do this all day with these fools. But let's make things even more interesting. Let's bring forth some Ushap tea. These dangerous constructs hold up rather well to the weak weapons of the beastmen. Watch how they run. <laughs> All right. With the beastmen fleeing and our tombs avenged, we can now begin to focus on the nearest book of Nagash. We are on the cusp of reaching the first, the nearest book of Nagash. But in the meantime, a rogue army of dwarves has emerged. They have already sacked one of our settlements and now I find myself facing them. We have rushed to one of our settlements, but it appears that they have met us here on the field of battle. Their trinkets will not save them, though.
King. I must say, this is the greatest battle I've had in ages. But these dwarves are not enough. No. Their trinkets have not saved them. And so it is that even with their fire weapons, they were not enough to destroy us. Now, we know of where a dwarven settlement holds the Book of Nagash that we seek. And we will take it for ourselves. And so it is that we set our sights on Vulture Mountain, held by the Greybeard's prospectors. It is there that we will find the seventh Book of Nagash. Little did these first vampires know, Nagash's dark will had guided their actions all along. They found themselves at his fortress of Nagashesar, where the perfidious sorcerer welcomed his twisted children with open arms. Together they launched a fresh offensive against Nehekara, catching the recovering kingdom unawares. But if I am to attack Vulture Mountain with Arkan, I will need minions. All right, folks, that is the first episode for this uh, edited down Tomb King series. We currently have three openings for heroes, if we zoom on down. So we have openings for a Tomb Prince, a Lich Priest, and a Necrotect. If you are interested in joining the ranks of Anubis's army, let me know in the comments below. Uh, positions will be given away on a first-come, first-served basis, so simply let me know 
and I will do or I will get everything set up for the next episode. So this episode is posting on Saturday. So the following Saturday is when the next series of events will be. So there's a probably six day window, five or six day window where you'll be able to post on uh, positions that you'll be interested in. If you are interested in taking up a Lich Priest role, uh, let me know what lore of magic you wish to do. Right now we have Death, Light, and the lore of Nehekara available. Eventually I'll get the lore of Shadows unlocked, but uh, I do have to find a Book of Nagash for that. Alright folks, so let me know what you think of this episode. If you think this series is interesting, give it a like on the video. And uh, if you are interested in joining, let me know below what rank you want and the name you want for your follower. Alright folks, see you in the next episode.